Howdy y'all, Potato Gaming 2020, come back at you with another episode of Banjo-Kazooie. In the last episode, we completed Clanker's Cavern in one go. As you can see, we started at the beginning of this, of Gruntilda's Lair here. We're actually just going to make our way up through the ropes normally. Mostly because we got this jiggy we can get right here. I missed, failed out horribly, typical. I'm going to do it multiple times, apparently. Don't mind me. Let's grab our reward. That was for hitting the Grunty Switch in Clinker's Cavern. Now we're going to make our way up towards Clinker's Cavern, but we're not going into Clinker's Cavern today, don't worry. We really did that stage, there's nothing left there. But we do need to do something in the lobby. If you'll remember, a little while ago when we first came to this lobby, before we unlocked Lakers Cavern, we unlocked this little pathway down here. So today we're going to make our way through here, because this is what we need to do to get to the next level, which which will be Bubble Glimpse Swamp. Honestly, one of my least favorite levels in this game. I don't, I couldn't tell you why. I can't really place it. Let's go ahead and fill all those in at once. As you can see, we unlock Bob Goose Lock. Might as well get all these eggies up. No, no eggie left behind. Restarting the game causes us to lose all the one ups we've gathered, which is an unfortunate downside, but. It's not a huge deal for me because I, I've been playing this game my whole life. I know what I'm doing. I've hunted this game countless times as I'm going to do again for you guys today. Well, not the whole game. Your butt will tell you, then you'll know. When my when my boost week's to and fro. I can't talk. Alright, now we got to go up this little hill here. Pay our, pay our debt to the note god and let's head on in. That that gate cost 180. I know I kind of didn't really let you see it, but it's 180 notes. We're going to make our way to the left over here. Going up here because this is where the lobby to Bogo Swamp is. Uh, not right now. We'll do that later. Well, here's something we can't do yet. Hey, keep your feet out. You can't use us until you've spoken to bottles. Yep. That's literally what those are. You can not... Those are boots. They allow you to walk through, uh... Water... Watery waste... Essentially lava, pretty much, in this game. Let's just head on into the level. And let me stop rambling. Alright. Right when you enter. Literally go right behind you. Try to avoid the frog. Let me turn the camera so I can see what I'm freaking doing. Hey! Come here! Got him! Oh my word! No, we don't have that many problems with it. The bottles is back here. These are the wading boots. Chicken wears them so you can walk, so you can safely wade through dangerous areas like this swamp for a limited time. Okay, chicken er, kazooie. Let's go grab a pair. Great, now you know all the swamps do moves. Cool beans. Alrighty. Another thing you want to do? You want to watch this guy. This this dude. You know, I'll just let him explain it. He wants us to feed him an egg. Oh, yummy. Croc just like that. Yep. He wants yummy egg too. Yeah, this is literally one of my least favorite levels in the game. And it's not because of, uh... 
I only don't like this level just because I don't I can't really place it. I don't know why I don't like this level. I just don't. I just don't think I'm a huge fan of swamps in video games to begin with, so one thing I do I do like about this level though is its soundtrack. But I can say that about the whole game, I'll gush all day about that damn thing. It's so good. Took my eyes off the screen for a second and that happened. I was just making sure the game it was recording the game audio because I wasn't a hundred percent certain. Because if it does Yeah, I can use that. Alright. Now we're gonna hit this jiggy switch and it's gonna spawn a jiggy at the end of this really long and perilous thingy. This little track here. I usually take this level by wherever Croctus is. I go wherever. That's the order I play this level in. Mostly. Now this part calls for a little more precision, and I got it. Let's go. Alright, first jiggy of the level. Bagged. Uh, Controller being weird. Hey, I stop, please. Controller is being weird. So be it. Second Jinjo. Yep. A bunch of eggies and a mumbo. Don't really care about the eggs. I'm full. Maxed out on them. All right, let's feed up practice. Snipe. I'm too lazy to go get the to get a singular egg. I don't care that much. Make sure I get every note. All right, that's it for this upper area. Now I usually go right over here because Croctus does not go over here. That's something to keep note of. Alrighty. Wait for this little leaf to come by. Then immediately jump on it and climb over to here. And get ourselves a free mumbo token. Now we're gonna make a way on top of this giant eggy here. Gonna do a jump, get that. We're just gonna pretty much just beat this egg senseless till it breaks completely. I believe this is the final stage. Yep, sure was. Alright, let's wait for the leaf. Woo. I could get those notes now, but it's more convenient to do it later. Trust me. Alright, right here we got an ambush. He's after our gold. But he'll never beat us all. These are yellow flibbits. Or as he called them, I called them the bee frogs. Ah, oh, baloney. Come here. I am not playing very well, <laughs> clearly. Hey, get out of there. Hmm. Come at me, bro. There we go. Got them all. Bro, you too tough for us. Look, let's take our gold. Yeah, we showed him. Um, I forgot where Croctus went next. I think it's over here, like straight ahead. So let's head this way. Wahoo! Alright, you want to break all these nests? 
I was holding A that whole time. I don't know why that just happened, but okay. Alright, break this nest because it contains your grunty switch. That'll become important later. Alright, keep making our way up. Yep, Proctus is up here. Tell me. Alright, now he's behind the giant croc in the back. You won't believe me. You won't believe how long it took Child Me to figure this out. I didn't know that this was up here for the longest time. I didn't. I don't think I figured that out till I was like at least 12 years old. And I used to play this game all the time. Yeah, that one took me forever to find. But now I'm older and hindsight is a B word. I'm gonna grab all these notes. We're already making great progress on this level. Come here, buddy. Big croc just again. I think that's the last croc. This he's all the way over there by the turtle. Run over here. I kind of want those. Sweet. I don't really use gold feathers very much, but I like to be topped on everything if I can be. Another red flippet. Uh, I should not have been able to hit him, but I will take that. Just a little ground pound trick to avoid fall damage. Camera, please. This controller is weird sometimes. It's kind of sensitive. There's a mumbo right there in case you can't see it. Kind of hiding behind these little bush you know, thingies like planks what's the word I'm looking for fence that's the word I'm looking for I'm a big old idiot all right let's go over to the little turtle here oi let's see what he's got to say Ooh, my feet are so numb and cold. Gotcha, fam. Oh! <laughs> ah, that's a bit better. That scream is just the best thing I've ever heard. Oh! Oh! Crafts us up Jiggy. Mmm, tanked up to war about the lust. Perhaps you'd like this. Yep, he gives us a free Jiggy. For bashing his feet in. It's not all he gives us, but we'll get to that in a second. Real quick, I want to get this Jinjo, and I want to go get go see hi to Croctus. Butt Munch. Ooh. What? Baloney. Gotcha. Another jiggy, just like that. Alright, what's that? Six? Yep. Alright, now let's do something mildly gross. We're gonna hop right in his mouth and go in. Because now we are inside tanked up. There are a whole bunch of turtles in here. Alright, let's talk to this dude. 
Quiet, please. The famous Tip Top Choir will now perform my latest work. Bit short, isn't it, shall boy? We'll see. Copy what you've heard for lesson one. Alright. Blue. Cyan. Blue. Simple enough. We're pretty much playing Simon Says. Hmm, not too bad. On to lesson two. Purple. Blue. Yellow. Pink. Red. Purple, blue, yellow, pink, red. Got it. Purple. Blue. Yellow. Miss. Pink. Red. Gotcha. Ah, splendid. You just need one more lesson. Cyan, purple, yellow. Ow. Uh, I forgot. If you forget, you can just go talk to him and he'll tell you. I knew you'd need to see this one again. Cyan, purple, yellow. Pink, blue. Cyan, blue. We'll start with cyan, purple, yellow. Purple. Yellow. Pink. Is it blue? And then back and forth. Yep, let's go. Magnificent, a true masterpiece. Here, take this trinket I found earlier. Alright, let's get it. Sweet. Sorry, there is nothing more I can teach you. Now the game does some really sneaky here. You want to look up. That's down. Right there. You want to jump on top on top of his podium and do your the backflip thingy thing, Maru. All right, let's do a quick time check. I feel like we can finish this episode. Like we can finish this world before the episode's up. Only about twenty minutes in, we can go. I like to make them at least half an hour. Yeah, that's what happens if you fall in the water. They got piranhas in it, apparently. Alright, now we're gonna make our way back over to the giant crocodile head dude. We're gonna avoid him. If he's even alive. We're gonna make our way up. We're gonna make our way to Mumbo's, pretty much. That's what we're doing. That was mid attack. Baloney. Alright, take the waiting boots and make way through this maze. I would say it's a maze, it's really not. It's just a straight linear path. There's no twists and turns, you can't get it wrong. Alright, let's grab more boots and make our, keep making our way through. Alright, we're gonna turn off the boots because we got another jiggy switch over here. This one's a lot more difficult because of the angle. <laughs> the whole path is tiny, and as you can see, you got 10 seconds. But using the patented feather flap didgeridoo, you can make a little effort. Just don't fall off. Whatever you do, do not fall off. It's not pretty.
Alright, let's continue on the path. Don't miss that note, it's kinda it's kind of a jerky move. Alright, that's all the notes thus far. We'll go behind Mumbo's house. I think there's something back here. Yep. Free Mumbo token. Alright, let's go say hi to Mumbo. Howdy Mumbolio Jumbolio. He wants ten tokens this time. Oh he'll get his ten tokens. Do that real quick and make get all these. Get the honeycomb piece and let's transform. Ah yes, we're a little gator. Wait, Mumble need new boots. Only kidding. Alrighty, now we are like literally half the size we were before. If you bite these guys with the crocodile, you actually get a uh, croc gator. If you get you get two two health pieces if you do that with this guy. Here's why I said it'd be more beneficial just to walk wait till later to get those notes because you just walk in the water with the crocodile. Why is the soundtrack so good? Grant Kirkup, what have you done to me? <laughs> Alright, I was gonna go inside the nose of this giant dude. But I'm not actually going to mess with this right now. This is a Jiggy you can technically do now, but it is considerably more difficult. There is a red crocodile in this room named Mr. Vile, and if you look at the back there, there are white there are white running shoes that make you go like twice speed, or at least twice your speed. He'll have you participate in a challenge of eating more things than he does, and... By round three, it's a pain in the butt. We'll come back later and do this. I just want the notes, really. That's all I went in there for. If you think you're if you're up to the challenge, then be my guest. You are more than welcome to go for it. Actually, I want to go over here to where all the trees are. It is possible, but it takes. It takes a while to get it down. I'm not the best at it myself, so I'm not going to mess with it. We also need the crocodile to get these stuff under these trees here. Two Momo tokens. Camera, please. Eh, I don't think I need those. I think I'm maxed out on them. Red feathers with me. Notes and a one up. Now, all that's left in this world are those five notes and that jiggy from Mr. Vile that we won't be able to get right now. I'm sorry guys, I can't help it. It's so good. This this level has one of my favorite pieces for the soundtrack, so I can't help myself a lot of the time with this one. You've got all the notes on this world. Well done! Yep, that's pretty much this world done already. My least favorite level, but honestly, I still don't know why it is. I love the aesthetic. I love everything about it. I just don't like this level as much as I like the rest of them. I don't think I like the concept of it is what it is. Well, anyway, with the 
you know what? We're going to wrap this episode up, actually. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like the video if you liked the video. Subscribe if you want. I've been Potato Gaming 2020. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to ring that bell. Peace.